Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another NTW3 battle for you today as we carry on NTW3 week. As you can see the British are marching up here in column, we've got the King's German Legion here and some of the famous redcoats of Britain preparing to fight their old enemy, the French here. And they are joined today by the Russian Guards. We also have, uh, well we have the Peninsula Campaign, uh, like British Army, we also have uh, we also have Austria, and I believe we also have maybe another British arm another British Peninsula army all the way over there. So we have two British armies. Uh, we have uh, the Russians, and we have the Austrians here today. So an interesting alliance to be sure. Uh, facing them today, we have uh, uh, like France 1814, Spain, uh, and then we also have France 1812. We also have Rhineland, and we have the Ottomans here as well. So again, another strange, bizarre. Uh, coalition, but this is what is so great about cu uh, custom battles. You can get up to some strange and amazing battles with some great factions. And uh, yeah, this is Austria 1809. I don't actually know if there is another Austria in the. Uh, uh, there may be another period, but I mean, this seems like the most common one that seems to be uh, seems to be played. As you can see Austria very similar to HRE is going to bring large amounts of uh, infantry, uh, basically to just like, overwhelm enemies. I mean, as you can see, they've got lots of land there over here. And again, just like the HRE, their quality is probably not up to stand like standard of say like the French and other factions. So it'll be interesting to see how they do. I mean, their cavalry is pretty good. They got some pretty good cavalry, and a lot of it as well. A lot of it gathered back here. Got lots of hussars, lots of chevaliers, grassiers, lots and lots of stuff like that. Like that. The Russian army is probably by far and away the smallest. As we have a cavalry charge going on over there, as you can see the British are going in. As are the Russians. We've got their grassiers in here. Goons, and the uh, British uh, Hussars going in. It looks like we're going to see some more cavalry going on on this side as well. More British cavalry here going in. More Hussars. And they're really chasing down this Gracia unit. Which just does not want to be engaged with the Hussars apparently. Even though it looks like they're doing pretty good. I mean, yeah, you can see that the French have got so many units in these buildings. Here we've got Voltigares and uh, like Light Infantry. All just in these buildings. So they're scaring off cavalry. They are routing uh, like friend and foe at the moment. And there you go, you can see a general's under attack. Uh, Kazan here is actually under attack, and he may get killed here. And what he was doing, just wandering into the battlefield, but he looks like he may. He is routing, he is broken. The general is gone for this French army. As you can see, they're forming square. Trying to take their lines. Doesn't really matter, Rush has done the damage. He's got his crassiers and his like guard cavalry in here. He can come after just about anything he wants to. I think he's going, uh, they're going in the rear, they're going after those uh, cuirassiers here of the French, and they're just taking out the cavalry force, and there you go. General has been killed. That is that uh, general back there, Gazan, has been killed. So that was a really, really nice start there for the Allies. We've got a nice cavalry charge off. So there you go, yeah, Russia and uh, Britain working together. They managed to take those two, uh, like that general out, and most of the cav. Over on this side as well, seems like Austria is starting to uh, engage one of the uh, French uh, the other French army here, 1812. These guys need to form square. These guys can form square as well. They really should form square. It's the French move up. They've got artillery as well. Point by range. This is, is this artillery just gunning down these infantry? I think it is. Poor guys. Poor, poor guys. But yeah, now surely the aim will be to uh, like bring up infantry and they can just try and push the French out of this uh, village. I mean, they've got the ever-present uh, cavalry threat here. They have actually just routed this infantry unit as well. They can form square. These two could both form square. And neither of them did. Foolish mistake. All this French infantry here looks like it can, or most of it can. French just open up and fire into the Russian cavalry over there. But there you go. A nice, quick start to the battle today. So, yes, I hope you guys are enjoying seeing NTW3 on the channel at the moment as the Austrians are going in. Trying to take out that French cav uh, that French artillery, I think. Yeah, and they have routed it, so really well done there for the Austrians. Yeah, so yeah, if you're enjoying seeing NTW3 and would like to see more as artillery comes flying and you've got howitzers here, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe when you're around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, guys, thank you for the support. Just keep it up. Uh, keep leaving those likes, those comments, and subscribes. It really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, it really helps out the channel, and I really uh, like I just appreciate it so much. As another way, another salvo of our team. Look at that, going off, that was a brilliant hit. Really, really good hit, and as you can see, looks like they're still fighting in around this building. What is it now, the Russians still here? I mean, they charged into all this infantry. Most of it did form square. Legion the Vista, we've got like, okay, a, Swiss, um, a Polish unit here. Yeah, this here carry needs to probably just maybe hold off a little bit. It's getting probably a little bit tired, needs to just slow down a little bit. 
What we got over here? We've got more of like British cavs. Seems like the British and the uh, Russians now just dominate this area with cavalry. Uh, and it seems like the Spanish campaign army has just reduced to almost nothing very, very quickly. Um, what have we got over here? Oh, right. So the Ottomans actually managed to get into this building. This is pretty close to like the front lines for the uh, Allies. They probably want to really like take that building. But as you can see, the French are kind of supporting as the Ottomans. I imagine the Ottomans have a lot of cavalry because that is like one of their strengths. They've got a lot of CPI here. I can see Arab cavalry. And they've got a whole host of infantry now appearing. We've got all these like random irregulars and like, they're terrible formations. They don't really form up properly, do they? It will be interesting to see whether Rhineland and France over here, which are double teaming Austria right now, can take uh, Austria out quickly enough um, before like Britain and Russia kind of deal with the, Fr the French army up there. The Ottomans need to support this uh, like French force as well and like kind of strike. Uh, it looks like everyone's going for the Austrians. Poor Austrians having a rough old time right now. This British army in the center is probably thinking, where the hell do I go? I mean, it looks like they're going s uh, all the way down to the support Austria now. For all their infantry, their Two Sicilies Legion, etc. The guards for Russia are now appearing. They look like they're going to be facing off against uh, France, who's really low on troops. It just looks like fr this French army over here just got reduced to nothing so quickly. Got the red coats here, the Peninsular Glorious Army. Getting ready. Uh, Glorious victory. I don't know about that yet. There's still plenty to do. Don't know why it always says that so early. Is this is a tiny little Hessian. Oh no, the rest is in here. I thought there was like a tiny little Hessian unit just chilling outside. Look at this. This building now is getting surrounded. I mean, these, uh, these infantry here are getting kind of surrounded as well. And eventually they'll get pinned down by either the cavalry. The cavalry will just like stand in their way and they're going to have to form square. Then the infantry can catch up. Uh, so yeah, these infantry are kind of in a bit of trouble right now. Be interesting to see what they can do. Over on this side, seems like it's slowing down a little bit against uh, against Austria. Though we've got like this uh, like missile cap here. Like these uh, cavalry with uh, like, I don't really know how to describe them. These Arab cavalry, with, uh, they've got muskets of carbines, and they're just like firing point blank at, uh, well, the Austrian lines right now. I don't know if they're really getting any kills. I would have thought the Austrians would be able to outgun them. I don't know. Seems like both sides are kind of like fairly even in this. Seems like how, what's the, how is it firing at? Is it firing at the other artillery, or is it firing at the mass of cavalry that's just here? This is a 12 pounder. They don't need to get this 12 pounder this close. This could easily hit. Just set up here and then you're good to go. Austria will be uh, under heavy fire then. Rhineland now is also starting to appear and he looks like he's going to be attacking the sort of left uh, like side or right if you're from the Austrian perspective. What's going on over here then? Still sort of just shadowing this French force. They can't all form square, unfortunately. I think all but two can form square, so they're kind of doomed. Uh, and we're seeing like just a lot of fire just being fired in. Like, Poured into this building. They're deciding that why bother why bother storming it when we could just shoot them. And it looks like one of the French units broke. Uh, it looks like, yeah, it was the Hessian unit broke. And that just leaves in some uh, Voltigares, which are a light line in, light infantry. So I mean if they just send in a line infantry unit, they'd probably be able to take that unit out quite nicely. I can't even see, I can't even see many guys in there. They're all like hiding in the back, they're all like, please don't shoot us. We'll come out. Here we go, looks like the, uh, oh no, I don't know, the British look like they were going for something. Here we go though. Britain and Russia going in. They managed to get this unit that can't form square. Got that, uh, like, Lancer cavalry in here. These French units are on breaking point, but the, uh, the British are broken first. The Russians probably may follow. This unit can't form square, they should really have to strike this one. And now since they're in their, like, combat, I guess they can't form square, so the Krasius are going to come in now. It's probably like the hammer blow. But it looks like they kind of changed their mind at the last moment. Yeah, they're getting gunned down, though. The foolish ones have got too close. I mean, now they've slowed them down, the uh, Russians can, like, start to catch up, and they can maybe like, get them into a line battle. As you can see, Russia's actually got a uh, line infantry in combat here. Nice done there by Russia. Are we seeing like a big line battle about to take place over on this side? We are. France and Austria are now dueling it out here. And as you can see, the Ottomans are really storming this area here in the center. Britain is sort of made up a formation over there and is sort of ready for this fight. But uh, it's a very makeshift defensive thing at this moment. I mean, also this flank here is just mainly land there. So, I mean, the French and the uh, 
Ottoman should really go hard here. Seems like Rhineland's going to be facing most of the mainline infantry. Oh, I love it. Actually, can form square, or maybe it's just that one unit that I keep look, hovering over. The Armand von Nordman, I think it is. There's a few units over here of German infantry that can form square. Lying in wait in the forest, pouring musket fire onto their enemies now. Very nice, very nice. I mean, not very good camouflage. You're just bright white in a, in a green forest. You want to be a nice green uniform for that. So we're going to see her apply in a moment. There you go. We're a nice reply there from the Rhineland. As you can see, Franz is really being aggressive on this side, as he should be, because this is just land bed. He needs to be aggressive. He's over on the other side. Uh, this French army is nearly gone. It's nearly gone. It's forming... What units, uh, like... Can form square, a forming square, and they're getting overwhelmed by melee infantry. And the ones that can't, I mean, this one actually is just standing and just doing what it wants. And Russian infantry is now charging the side, and they're going to route these poles. The Russians want to re annex Poland. And they've just gone and done it. And there you go, that French army's gone. I don't believe they have any other units. This French army is 18, uh, 12, on oh, no, this 1814, sorry, 1814 Spain, I don't think has any more units. They just got wiped off the map. I may be, may be wrong. Oh no, they've got some units over here. Looks like they put some cavalry over here. They've got some land, some Vistula cavalry. That's about it. Why didn't have them protecting their own flank? I don't know. This, yeah, is this all then 1812? It seems like he's got a large army. Oh, he's got the uh, massive unit here, the 205 men unit, the uh, Colonel General. Yeah, I think this is all. This is all 1812, which is fair enough. It's a big army. You see, Ostrich went forward with a cavalry charge and failed. The Sars failed to break through. France was ready, formed, formed square where needed. It's a very, very violent line battle right now. As the German infantry holds the line. We've got cavalry just waiting behind the front lines. I mean, this uh, all in cavalry here. I don't know if it can actually, um, like, chart, like, if it's decent in combat, but I mean, that's a big unit that can just go through and just go after any of these uh, line opportunities if it chose to. Land various obviously starting to break. Struggling with the uh, the more elite French troops. And as you can see, Britain, it looks like he's shifting more. Well, he needs to shift more infantry this way. Like, even though he is kind of now facing some French troops, he probably needs to start maybe thinking about shifting more troops across, as does Russia. Russia and Britain just need to get, get going. As you can see, this British army is on the move now. And the Russian guards are also on their way. So it'll be interesting to see what they can do. It's only like six units of infantry and a couple of uh, like cavalry units. It's all the size of it is. It's not a massive unit. There's actually a uh, line infantry that's rallied over there for France 1814. Looks like, yeah, look at this. France is going to get outflanked in the moment by Britain. So this is huge. I don't know if these units can form square. All of them. But, uh, yeah, I think most of them can. Yeah, so they can all form squares. This cavalry is kind of, kind of redundant. And they're going to be like a little thorn in the side of this, uh, this assault by the French and their allies here. Ottomans, I think, need to start pushing hard. I mean, they've got their troops facing, the, like, half facing one way, half facing the other. Like, they're already expecting uh, like to be surrounded. But it should be... Uh, be doing that. France is over winning over here against Austria. That's a howitzer comes in. What's that going in for? But howitzer's definitely aiming for this cavalry. Ryland over here looks like he's slowly pushing the uh, Austrians out of the uh, out of the forest. Be able to come in and take Our that for himself. Running, if he chose to. And it looks like the French and the British again went in for another charge here. Trying to take out this French Chasseur Cheval. They did manage it. Going in for the next one. They will probably not win that one. Though. These Brunswick Cassars look absolutely finished. <laughs> They're nice black uniforms. There they go. They're gone. I mean, they might be able to put a nice volley into, the, uh, into them with the King's German Legion. You never know. I'm surprised the Ottomans didn't bring more cavalry. I mean, it seems like the French fought a lot more cavalry as well. A lot of Dragoons. 
I mean, I don't know if that's going to be a match to everything over here. We've got lots of Hussars. Got all that Curacia stuff still. The uh, Guard Cavalry here. Sir! Sir! Our General is under attack! All the Guard infantry getting ready. They're going to make a push down here. Can they all form square? Looks like they can. No more charging going on. The French went forward with those Chasseurs Cheval. Uh, and they're now fighting the uh, Light Dragoons here. And they got routed pretty quickly. I think they were going for a general. They are going for uh, Thomas Graham. So that was a, uh, a foolish attempt. You see the Ottomans now are sort of pushing forward. They're firing at very long range though. I don't think they're really doing any damage to the British. What they are, it's very minimal. Austria though has been forced back from his... Uh, front line as you can see you can see all the dead bodies now so france is sort of victorious here but he has other problems to worry about this france france is obviously as you can see is reforming uh precious infantry which is needed for the push over here against austria to now defend against britain and russia who are on the way and these are big units they should hold for a while got the 205 man unit here colonel general They're gonna need every gun they can get to uh, finish these British off. They're gonna need to use every single gun. And the cav over here, I mean, this is gonna be a key fight. Looks like the British did win a little cav fight here with the uh, with the Ottomans as well. Some beat some Tartars with their uh, Queen's, Queen's Light Dragoons. And here you go, the French are gonna reply. They're sending in some Dragoons to get rid of these Light Dragoons. Probably will do the job. And you can see Russia is. Thinking about sending over his Curacias, but it may be a little bit late. And I don't know whether you should bother, because this is a lot of Dragoons being committed. Just as taking out one unit. Now would be the time to strike uh, over here. Probably, since the uh, French are now like, left. You could go for the Ottoman Cav. You could go for just about anything. Britain is kind of struggling here a little bit, though. King's German Legion like Foot are very much struggling. Uh, but more troops are on the way. And here we go. It looks like we're about to see a charge move from this Arab Cavalry. Is it Arab Cavalry? Definitely close to the front line and changes its mind. It's French infantry over here for some reason. Oh, this is only Guard National. I mean, this, this these two units here probably need to be sent back over to the to the main French army because uh, Ryland's got this like under lock and key. He's doing a pretty decent job pushing forward here. I mean, he's only fighting a small portion of the Austrian army really with his entire army, but he's doing a decent job. France is still cleaning up a lot of these Austrian units. I still think, like, Ottomans need to push forward, be aggressive. They should, like, support. These students here should support to get rid of this land there and spearhead a, uh, like, sort of a, uh, a gap in the line here between Britain and Austria. It's still very, very close. It's, it's a very close, almost 3v4. And the Russians did go in with their cavalry in the end. Um, and they are routing these dragoons pretty decisively. There's a Lancer uh, Vistula over there, though. That's a, a pretty damn elite unit. That will take a little time to break. These Dragoons may return. They're still slightly healthy. 30 odd men. Got more Swiss infantry here. That's going to be honest. Uh, yeah, Swiss infantry and uh, Guard National. They might need to send uh, them to support. They might need to defend the guns, in fact. Guns are very much under threat because the Russian Guard are just outflanking the uh, French position right now. The French are giving ground. As you can see, this uh, Colonel General is down to 99 men. It's about half its force. What's in this building then? Don't know. Don't know. I have no idea how good that unit is, but it looks like it's like a regular unit or something like that. It is routing me to the Legion though. Um, Since like the British are struggling to uh, take that building. And a general has died. Whose general died? Oh, France assassinated someone's general. Who was that? I'm not sure, actually. That might be the Russian general. Yeah, that is the Russian general. I think they just got murdered. So that is very unfortunate. I mean, that could be kind of key for taking out all these uh, Karasias and uh, the guards over here. That could be huge. A bit of damage. Taking shots at this uh, cavalry here and the infantry. I mean, they are just about to just stand and just gun it. Ottoman cavalry. This Ottoman cavalry charged. Might be able to catch these guys in the way as they're on the march. The Ottomans are now having to turn infantry to face the, uh, face the British as the French reposition. Look like they're going to take on the uh, the joint force here of Britain and Russia. Austria's just about hanging on as well. Rhineland needs to get moving, moving hard to be honest. 
Like, I don't know why they haven't done with them. Like, they've got all this cavalry that they just got, like, sitting around, which, yeah, all well and good. But, like, Austria, most of its army cannot form square. If they just attack Austria's lines with cavalry, I think they break most of that in infantry. Yeah, Austria's got lots of cavalry that he can respond, but... You've got a chance, then. You've got a chance. You can't... I mean, they are trying to play defensively with their cavalry, but it's getting picked off bit by bit. As the Ottomans here in their irregular formations are dueling with the British in their very regimented lines. Fighting for king and country. Looking glorious as ever. All of these units here I think can form square. So like, just, the cavalry charge over here is kind of suicidal to try and break the lines. You're going to have to be very lucky in catching them unawares, I believe. I don't know why these units aren't looking directly at the uh, the guards. And there is actually infantry in behind. Uh, there is cavalry, sorry, in behind. But leave that to the other cavalry, I'd say. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, the Dragoons were going to go for it. Yeah, look at this now. Like, Ryland's having to turn his cavalry around to now like, deal with this uh, cavalry force. Instead of using it against the Austrians, he's being forced to turn it around. We've still got the uh, some of the uh, Hussars and Chevaliers over here. It's good to see. They're breaking forward their guns. They're really, like, dragging these guns up. A bit dangerous, obviously. Uh, the uh, carry could just go for a charge, get him. And look at that. The uh, heavy Dragoons here, or the old, uh, Dragoon Guards, sorry. Got a really nice charge off here in the center of the Austrian formation. Big gap in the line here now. Britain may be able to uh, take advantage of it. And it looks like we're seeing another charge here as well from Austria. See, Austria's seen, like, seeing the weakness of the Ottomans, which is the same weakness as the Austrians. Not many of their infantry can form square. And they're taking advantage of that. And you can see the morale is going down. Dragoon guards look like they're going in for another charge. What they're going for this time. Look like they're going to go straight for this general back here. Go straight for the Ottoman general. And there's a French channel. There's Davout back here as well. So they're just going to flank on him behind. Yeah, they're just flanking on him behind and just attacking everything in the rear. So Britain and Austria here doing a really nice job. And they may route like the entire Ottoman front line. And they are doing a really nice job there. Well done to them. You see that now they're bringing over the Ottoman cavalry to come and help deal with this, but it's maybe a little bit too late. Ottoman cavalry is very, very good, but it's uh I wonder if it'll stop these Dragoon guards. You can see the Chevaliers went in here and they actually managed to charge and hit some of these uh, French infantry that can some of them can form square and some can't. So a bit of a bit bit of a mix. I mean it's a uh, unfortunate for France. He needs every infantry unit he can keep alive right now because his allies are shedding units quite quickly. We're going to see Britain maybe assault this building. So what else is in here then? We're gonna, yeah, there they go. They're just gonna ignore this unit here. We're gonna go straight in. So they're sending in the North Lincolnshire units going first. And a massive carry fight going on on the back now. France is now the... Well, actually, it's the Rhineland that's engaged. France has actually not helped his ally. He's a bit slow. But he's paying attention. But the Carassiers are going in. Well, the Chevalier Lance is here. Slowly getting in, but they didn't really get a good charge. And they're actually running away, which is uh, maybe the smartest thing to do. More British Cav arriving. And the forces that are around this village here are now scaring off the French. But, uh... I oh, was scaring off the Russians, sorry. They really need to get these troops over to the main battle. Can't have them just lingering around this, uh, this farmhouse. What, they've got, like, what, a couple of decent line infantry units here and some guard nationals. So, yeah, they could really do with them over here. I mean, looks is looking a little bit like a losing battle right now. That's the only concern. The Ottomans are now in full retreat. Their, like, front line just got vaporized by British cavalry. The Rhineland's the only one that's really still pushing forward. Gracias routing all the French troops in this wood here. Well done by Austria. And yeah, Ryland's the only one that's still, still making a push here. He's got his grenadiers here. It's a cool unit. A nice blue and white. Very smart. Now, Austria's actually, like, in a pretty decent shape. I was expecting Austria to be absolutely hammered by the French and the uh, Rhineland, but they've kind of spared them, like, what it could have been. The British would be very quick to get troops over, and, like, I mean, the British only had a small amount of forces to start with, 
And the Ottomans kind of just sat back and waited when really they could have probably overwhelmed them with their cavalry and infantry. And as you can see, France is now getting just obliterated by these guard infantry and the uh, British here. So they've got, they got still a few big units lingering around, but I mean, it's no hope now since like most of the Allied cavalry's in the back lines. They can't really, don't really have anywhere to go. I guess they can maybe fall back to where Rhineland is. They can, well, I mean, it's a long way for these units to try and trek that. They may be better just to stand and fight. Looks like they are going to probably do that. The Ottomans thinking the same. Um, looking like they're just going to make a defense around this uh, sort of like Hamlet's Road area here. Got the guards down here still doing their bit. Looking glorious as ever. I remember someone was saying that they wanted to see a lot more of the guards, the Russian guards in action. And here you go. You get to see the Russian guards in action today. Looking fabulous as always. There. I look there like flag, but here you go. It looks like they're going to do what they do best. Russian guards going to go in for a charge. Looks like the Colonel General, did they were out? No. It's like only about five guys decided to charge in in the end. And the rest are just edging forward. Look at this. Edging forward. Like five guys are taking on an entire regiment right now. And they're like, oh, go on then. We'll go. We'll, the rest are like, go on then. We'll join. And there you go, they actually did route. That's, like, even with guard units, there's the risk of bayonet charges. It can be beaten. But they have routed them, the French this time, and they've just entirely routed on this side now. Uh, they still got their general, Davout is still here. He probably wants to start doing a runner. They've got some French units here as well. They've got the artillery inside the, uh, the artillery crew inside the square. That's really nice. I don't think the artillery crew is getting back to his guns, though, to be honest. And yeah, it looks like the last defense now is going to be around this area over here. Ryland's still making his push. He doesn't care. I feel like he's been a bit oblivious to what's going on. Doing what he should have done a long time ago. He sent the Hussars forward and has routed that infantry line. He's now fighting the cavalry in behind. So finding some Chevaliers. I mean, this is what he needed to do a long time ago with his cavalry. Just push against the uh, infantry and then have a cavalry fight after. And he could also bring up his own infantry to do the same. Like, Austrian infantry sucks. And they've got so much land there. Like, that's what you need to push as well, like, hard on these units here. Break these guys, and you'll do just fine. But, uh, yeah, they just seem to be quite passive against uh, Austria. And Austria was just allowed to just, like, soak up the, uh, soak up the ammunition. He had a lot of troops to soak up ammunition and slow the, ally uh, slow the uh, French down while uh, the other Allied forces arrived. They're still fighting for this building. This Ottoman unit must be insane. Still the North Lincolnshire. Maybe it's just a long fight. No one seems to be doing much, to be fair. This guy's just... A couple of guys here just on, on center duty. They're like, yeah, don't mind us. Doing our thing. Everyone's just down there. For some reason doing something. And there you go. We are seeing the destruction of the Ottoman army. As it is. Britain just setting up firing lines. And bayonet charges. There you go. Now seems like a... The final, the final offensive is going to be against Rhineland. The Vu's run all the way over here. Now cowering amongst his German allies. Now it's up to the, uh, the Confederation of the Rhine to save France's uh, honor. Don't know if they're going to, though. It's a pretty... It's a pretty steep hill to, be, uh, to climb to, get, to regain control of this battlefield. Who knows? Who knows? The Confederation might, Ryan might be able to do something. If it can quickly beat Austria, there's always hope. Russia's probably on the breaking point of, like, wavering at any moment because he's lost his general. It's really Britain that's the issue. Britain's just got lots of, uh, lots of assets left. They are pushing the Austrians back still. That's the thing. Like, Austria just keeps getting forced back. But, uh, and all it's doing is drawing, um... Rhineland away, further away from the French forces that are still lingering around here. There are like a couple of units. They're soon to be about to be assailed though by uh, British cavalry and uh, Russian infantry. And there you go. Uh, the uh, British did finally take this uh, building from the Turks. So well done to them. The Turks are probably just wishing they were back in back in Constantinople. In 1453, back in the glory days, not on the battlefields of Europe in 18 whatever. 
not so not so glory days for them then. They're kind of like a, a weak boy at that point. The sick man of Europe, very much so. Eight pounder here doing its thing. Get a, just a quick general snipe would be very much uh, appreciated right now, I imagine, for um, the Wineland because they're, yeah, I mean, they're going for this cavalry, so not a bad idea. Might actually route this cavalry, you never know. It's all on really low morale. Um, all they really need is that cavalry to go. I mean, they've got, the thing is, they've still got more Chevrolet back here. They've British brought the cavalry over as well. Looks like we're about to see, yeah, Ryland's now engaging the, uh, the Russian guards down here. Looks like we're about to see a cavalry charge as well. Going for this uh, artillery piece that the British have set up. There you go. Gonna take another little bit of a a little trophy there down with them are the uh, Confederation of the Rhine, but they're now engaged with British cavalry. And first it's the light dragoons, and then it'll be more light dragoons. And then I mean if they need to they can send in the Carassiers there. Uh, it looks like that might be enough. The British light dragoons seem, seem slightly stronger. Both fighting in dark blue, so that's gonna be hella confusing. The difference is like the British got like that trim on the front of their uh, tunic. France has, I mean, France has repelled this uh, Dragoon Guard assault here. It's well done to them there. I mean, these Guard Nationals will now survive. As of this line infantry unit. Not that it really matters. We're watching the slow death right now of the Confederation of the Rhine, which actually did rout one of the uh, British units here, the 95th Rifles. And another general's died. Whose general's died now? Oh, the French still had Lancers in here? And they just assassinated someone's general. I would presume that's one of the British generals who just got assassinated. Yeah, well done to the uh, to the French there. This is, a, oh, this is 1814 France as well. First out, but he's still like causing havoc with his uh, like Polish Lancer unit. Well done to him. Who knows then? Maybe it's possible for Rhineland to turn it around. I mean, numbers still look a little bit uh, in favor of the Allies, but I mean, they're going to have to be the aggressors now. Ryland's just going to sit back and do what he can. I mean, why have the British just got two units over here? They need them to... Need them to help in the final assault over here. And the uh, Polish Lancers claim another victim. They've got this Welsh Fusilier. Finally, the Confederation of Ryan Dragoons get broken. Britain can now push forward. I mean, quality is still with the Allies. I mean, these British infantry are going to be a lot better than the uh, Confederation of the Rhine ones. These veterans from the Peninsula campaign... Ready to die for their king. Risky business here, falling back this uh, grenadier unit. May want to just leave that defending the guns, but I mean, maybe they want to use it actually in the line combat, because if so, they can't really just stand here and just. Have to get out of the way of the howitzer. Who actually does have the howitzer? I'm not actually really. I, yeah, it is the Austrians. I thought it was the Austrians had the howitzer. It's been just constantly like shelling stuff all day. Whereas Ryan slows over here as well doing stuff. These guys kind of look like grenadiers. Here they are. Oh, yeah. man, my buddy. Maybe there's light, light infantry or something like that. Or maybe lifeguards? I don't know. Life, life infantry. They look like they're pretty elite, but like that. You know, doing a decent amount of damage. Austria is still like yeah, losing fight here, but Austria has gone in for a charge here. It's actually charging the Nassau line infantry. Didn't go for the guns. It's kind of surprising. Jurassic here look like they're going to get repelled. Britain also is looking like it's going to get prepared for either a mass charge or to get point blank range. Russia is going for the charge. Sitting in his lifeguards here, going after some uh, line infantry. Oh, nice light volley off there at the last minute by the uh, Germans. Russia's morale is certainly looking a bit shaky. Has turned it around though here. Russia's like, nah, that's it. It's a cold steel with the bayonet for you guys. It's going to be close. Cavalry here broke for Austria. So Ryland lives another... Another year, another day. They are breaking here, though, and they are sending in the more light line infantry to 
support. It's turning a little bit messy here, and the uh, line infantry is starting to really waver. It's like his morale is really, really low. Got a NASA unit here, this is Grenadier unit coming up. Got Austrian cav going in. What's this going to go for? I mean, any of this line infantry cannot form square. Nice charge there. Really reducing that, that morale. And once it's through this one, it can probably go into the next one. We just get gunned down quickly here, which it may do. There you go, routes that one. Can now charge this one. And then there's going to be a big gap in the line here. And as you can see, Russia has helped route a lot of this infantry here as well. So well done to them there. As have the British. They've done a lot of damage. Response is to send in some uh, Chevaliers. I mean, it's just the last valiant effort. It's probably going to come to nothing. They are already wavering. Well, not wavering, but they're... Uh, yeah, there they go. They're wavering now. Broken. Carrying amongst uh, the general now. And that is probably going to be curtains for the, H uh, for the HRE. For the uh, Federation of the Rhine. The heir apparent to the HRE. Are oh, this cavalry still alive out here? Where are you? What are you doing? Just go die. Spain, you've done your bit. You died first. And there you go, the Confederation Ryan is in a lot of trouble. And the British are now actually assaulting over here as well. I didn't even realise. They're just attacking all the uh, the French assets outside. This poor Guard National having a rough old time. It's inside the building then. Artillery crew and some pioneers. Some Guard National. They're piling in a lot of their own infantry, the friend, uh, the British. They've got some, guards, uh, some Guard infantry here. These some sappers. Might want to send them in. They could probably do a job. We've got more infantry waiting out here as well if it needs to go in. But there you go. The death of Confederation of the Rhine is complete. There is merely one unit left and it's this line infantry here. Oh, there's this one here as well. Hessian unit. But I don't think they're going to last much longer. The cavalry unit is over here. Is this, what's it going for? There's another... Yeah, strangely, the, like, the, like the British have infantry out here and the French are just taking them out. General, I'm presuming that's Confederation of the Rhine has lost his general. Yeah. Yeah, Britain's just, like, got a free infantry units out here that are just, like, getting chopped down by the uh, French cavalry. I mean, they could form square as well. And they're going to. Hopefully they break this cavalry. Put a good volley into them, boys. A good volley. Yes, no, nope. oh, their morale took a real hit there for some reason. Uh, Allies captured a building. I presume that's that building which had all the uh, sappers in it and the artillery crew. Yep. They are gone. So that really just leaves like a couple of uh, units of Confederation of the Rhine, which are uh, valiantly holding on. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, this battle. It certainly was a fun one. It's nice to see another Allied victory. You don't often see them. You see France often dominate. And it's nice to see that Austria, the heir to the uh, HRE, getting revenge for uh, all the defeats that France has inflicted on the HRE this week already. You see the artillery just rousing all this uh, infantry itself. It doesn't even need the musket volleys or the cavalry to do it. It'll do it itself. It'll just shell from miles away and do it. Need one last cavalry charge from this uh, Chevalier here. Probably will route this one. And then it just leaves the uh, Polish Lancers all the way out here, which uh, I'm not really sure what they're doing. They're just kind of harassing stuff. Is there a unit in here as well? Is this a uh, French unit? I think that is. I think it is a French unit in here. I'm not sure what is in here. Or is it that uh, Hessian unit, I wonder? I wonder if it's that Hessian unit that survived. But there you go. The Lancers are going to charge now. They're going to form square. I feel like they, the Lancers got a decent charge off there. Like, they did not form square in that time. But there you go. Apparently they did. They're probably going to break this cavalry as well. Yep, yeah, they broke their cavalry. 
Whether the infantry will have enough strength though to storm this building, yeah, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a from, it's like a German unit from Lip, wherever the heck, heck that is. Oh, there's another one over here. Confederation Rhine have got some Jaegers in this building back here. Well, I'm probably just going to like, since it's just those left, and uh, I don't really want to just show you like the uh, allies are basically just chasing the, uh, chasing down like a couple of units of buildings, storming them. I'm just going to fast forward and get to the end result, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so there you go. They managed to, the allies managed to take the final few buildings, um, so well done to them. This one was sent in by Sam Hung, who was playing as the Russian guards. Uh, only had a thousand men. Uh, it's a really, really small but elite army. Uh, lost about, well, six tenths of it, just over half of his army. Did kill about, well, more than uh, like one and a half the size of his army. He got 1,500 kills, so well done to him. Um, also well done to Greta Berger, who's playing as one of the Peninsula uh, like campaign armies. To Tran of Magus, who was playing as Austria. Did a really good job, had a massive army. And uh, managed to hold on for quite a long time. And didn't take, like, only lost half his casualties, which is pretty good. Uh, look, only lost half his men, sorry. Um, which is a pretty good, like, casualties for uh, for Austria. And then also well done to Larry Gottlover, who was playing as the other uh, Peninsula army. So they all got over a thousand kills. And did a really, really good job. I mean, some good kills here as well for the uh, French-like alliance. I mean, Travis getting down, like over a thousand kills as the Ottomans, pretty good. Um, one of the, the Spanish army getting the smallest amount of kills, also having the smallest army, uh, which is kind of surprising. Usually, you see like a Spanish campaign army having a really, really big army, um, but yeah, they lost most of their army and got just done over 600 kills. Uh, Captain uh, Amazon Prime playing as uh, the Rhineland, uh, I thought did the best to be fair in kills, but actually didn't. And um, that was um, Best South American Despot, who was playing as uh, 1812 uh, France, who uh, got nearly 1,300 kills, one shy. Um, but there you go, guys. That is the battle. I'll quickly show you the unit stats. So as you can see, um, the, the Cuirassiers here and like the Guard Cavalry doing really well, getting 290, 280 kills. And the Sappers getting 180 kills. And then we've got some uh, other, of the other units here, but very few units, as you can see, being brought by the Guard, uh, like Russian Army. Um, but if you enjoy, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe from around here, and a comment to show your support. And uh, don't forget to join the Discord, the link's down below in the description. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next one.